Good evening friends. This side Rahul Magan here is a Group Chief Executive Officer Treasury Consulting and also a Venture Capitalist. Standing today, we are going to be talking about a very important video about the credit ratings or the future of credit ratings. As you very well understand that there are many countries in the globe, especially India, whereby the credit rating agencies work is under radar. Effective 2008, in including me, I repeat, effective 2008 and including me, when everyone criticized the banks that you are not doing this thing rightly, IMDB scandal and number of scandals, you know. But no one dared to criticize the credit rating agencies. My biggest question today is, are the credit rating agencies doing their job for what they are assigned to? There are multiple pillars of democracy. Similarly, there are multiple pillars of the financial system also. And one of the important pillars of the financial system is the credit rating agencies. But credit rating agencies are not doing the work. Actually, they have created another work for themselves, which is the invoicing model. So the higher the amount in the invoice, the higher the credit rating. Recently, there are many evidences which we have from India which does suggest that like infrastructure leasing and financial services, Divan Housing, Jet Airways, Yes Bank, ICICI, Axis Bank, wherein not only the credit rating agencies acted post-emptively, basically the post, uh, it's, it's a kind of post response, they ever fail even to aware the investor that this company is heading into a mess. Now, I would like to ask three questions and there is a second part to that video as well, which we want to shoot it right away. Which is that, how these credit rating agencies are actually getting operated? These credit rating agencies are actually getting operating based upon the invoice value. I do not want you to name the credit rating agency, but I had a personal experience when I was in my, in my earlier corporate days and I got to know that when the company was into the credit rating, and this credit rating indirectly said in the meeting that the credit rating depend, depends upon how much invoice value which we are going to get, you know. Now my biggest question is in case of Yes Bank, when the entire India was aware that wrong is happening except credit rating, ILFS, Divan Housing, Jet Airways and the list is pretty long. Now effective 2008 credit rating agencies went very stringent in US because they know that the US administration and European administration and especially the Singaporean administration they are very very stringent and they will definitely never allow you to play with the money of the investor. But when it comes to India these credit rating agencies are violating almost every rule and they even don't bother the work before what they assign to. Another important thing which I want to discuss about the credit rating is the future of credit rating. So yesterday there was an uh, basically event here in the Singapore. You know that Treasury Consulting is a Singapore headquartered company. So there was an event here at Singapore. In this event, what was the scene? It was titled InnoVest. Now in this event, I got a chance to meet with several good startups. You know that we are a venture capitalist and we are regularly looking for the startups, those who are looking for money. But uh, we should know them, they really wanted to do something different in their life. I really got a chance to meet with uh, good startups and one of the startups which I meet with, uh, he is actually doing the credit ratings using machine learning. And unfortunately, they have not been able to do the credit rating of the private limited company, but they are doing the credit rating of the public limited company. Okay, I'm comfortable. That's perfect. No problem in that. When we were evaluating the systems, we got to know that there is an 89% chance that the credit rating being assigned by the, these three big four, Standard Poor, Fitch and Moody, will tell you with the credit rating assigned by his system. Now, I would like to raise three fundamental questions and that I raised to him as well. Question number one, we already know that the models and the factors these credit rating agencies are using to compute the credit rating is not correct. Had it been, there won't be any 2008. Had it been, a lot of investors were aware that something bad is going to happen in India and there are multiple evidences. Second thing, is the credit rating in future would be decided by the machine learning? I am not against machine learning, you know I am an innovative person. If yes, it is decided by the machine learning, then it's all dependent upon the coding of the machine learning and the person who would be doing the coding and the person who would be setting up the logic. Ultimately, it is the same thing. 
that you have an ATM, automated teller machine. You are putting uh, your request that you want a thousand dollars and this thousand dollars will coming out in the form of two dollar notes, five dollar notes, ten dollar note or maybe hundred dollar notes. It's all the coding that is at the back. Now the question is third very importantly which I wanted to raise in the today's video. What would if in 2028, today we are in 2019, suppose we are in 2028, the credit rating is done by the machine learning and the issuer, or so basically the recipient of the credit rating, assuming any company, I'm just giving an example, say, you know, Goldman Sachs example. And the issuer of the credit rating, say Goldman Sachs, well, sorry, the recipient of the credit rating, say Goldman Sachs, will ask the person who will set up the machine learning coding that I want AAA. To cut the long discussion short, it's just an example. To cut the long discussion short, what is the authenticity that machine learning based credit rating will resolve or fix the problem which we have current in the world of credit rating there is no guarantee but blindly we are following these uh, conventions and we are very happy that some somebody is coming up with a different thought I am absolutely in sync but we really need to ask questions that the future of credit rating is seriously uncertain seriously uncertain more videos on the on the way you know I'm a wild number nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight you know our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global before leaving i'm very pleased to share that the third phase of fixed income platform under development there are multiple pages which are under development it might possible that once you open our fixed income platform there is few things which you might not like like the text and everything because it is under development so Sometimes what happens when it is an un, un, under development, so these mistakes happen, you know. But the fortunate part is that in the next one year, more than eight desks are coming. And immediately launch of that, we would be the first non-banking company of the globe who would have all these things in place. With this, we thank you very much and uh, talk soon. Thank you.